Welcome back to Max Garage. I'm actually gonna go uh, figure out what's going on with my truck. I uh, was trying to do remote start earlier and just will not work. And some of the reasons why that doesn't work is because there's a check engine light or uh, not enough fuel or not enough well pressure. There's several reasons for it. But uh, you're supposed to be able to hit the lock button. Hit the lock button. And you're supposed to be able to hold this button down. And it should start. But that's not happening. Um, it is just uh, flashing once and then not starting. And Florida heat is a kind of a necessity for these type of cars. So let's check a few things and find out why this is happening. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I have low fuel. That's because I'm parked on the hill. But I do have a check engine light. So we gotta go find out what is causing that. I don't have an ODB um, reader yet, which is something I need to buy. I just need to pull the trigger and get one. So I'm gonna go to AutoZone and find out what is going on. They'll read it for me and tell me what the what the code is. So let's go there. And I'll be right back. Okay, I am back from AutoZone. They let me know that it is a P0454 error. And what that is, is it's basically telling me that there is a problem with my fuel evap system. The common reasons why you get that code is because you do not tighten the fuel cap good enough. So let's go check that real quick and Find out if it is tight because that is a possibility. I just got gas just recently um, when this started. I do a lot of miles on this truck, so it's not uncommon for me to go through a tank of gas and not tighten this. So let's find out here. Examine the cap. Examine the little seal around it, the rubber. The rubber looks good, it's not cracked. Appears to be making a good seal. So, something we can do is we can reset the computer. That's on there. Let's go ahead and reset the computer because the what they're saying is the sensor is about 60 bucks. It's on top of the fuel tank and it regulates pressure. What it does is it checks pressure. And when it's not working correctly, um, which is in this case is what it's saying, it's not working correctly. We have to replace it. But the cheap and easy fix, or the first thing you always want to do on this case is just check the fuel cap now the fuel cap is uh, has um, cracks in that rubber area right there replace the fuel cap um, mine actually looks pretty good but uh, I don't think that's the issue I think it was just it wasn't tightened on all the way who knows so what we're gonna do is step one of troubleshooting this is I'm gonna reset the computer and uh, see if that uh, resolves the issue. This is my battery. So all you have to do is to reset your computer is just to unhook the negative terminal and wait a few minutes, come out, reattach it, go drive it around, and if the light comes back on, let me know there's a bigger issue. If it doesn't come on, it was just because I didn't tighten the cap. And it could be a possibility. I'm pretty sure a lot of common uh, 
That'd probably be the most common for people. So let's get my toolbox. So that bolt is a 10 millimeter and I have a socket and a little stick extension. Let's go and take that off. Okay, so that is off. Let's just give it about, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Come back out here, start it back up, take it for a quick test drive, probably go get some gas, and then uh, see if the light comes back on. It's been about 30 minutes actually, uh, since I actually took this off. Let's go ahead and put it back on, and go take this beast for a ride. Okay, so the light isn't on, which is what I would expect. It will turn on, I would assume, over the next few miles if there is a problem. So, let's hope by the time we get to the gas station more gas in here we don't have any issues um, or tomorrow when I'm driving home putting about a uh, hundred miles in the car uh, that light will probably come on by then if uh, there's truly an issue but uh, I'm pretty sure this probably fixed it just by tightening the gas tank gas cap putting it back on there only in Florida you see golf carts driving down the road Yeah, well, I guess that kind of contributes to us living to the villages as well, but uh, yep, yeah. golf carts driving down the road. And honestly, I'd probably go down to the gas station with my golf cart if I had one. I know I would, actually. All joking aside. Let's get some gas from the race can. Ugh, pains me every time. I guess it's not too bad. Almost 70 bucks. Okay, took it around the block. Check engine light didn't come back on, so that's good. Let's go ahead and show you here. No check engine light. Wonder if um, that was the reason why my car was not remote starting. One problem leads to another, right? So, we will go ahead and see if remote start still works, which I bet it will because Remote start won't work if there is an issue with the vehicle. So let's go ahead and uh, test it. All right, let's see if it works. Awesome. Well, at least we know there's nothing wrong with the remote start system, which generally isn't if the starter works. And uh, we will see if this uh, gets to be a bigger issue or not. So anyway, if you are interested in the error, it was a P0454 error. It is talking about the fuel pressure switch. So if that is triggered because you didn't tighten down your gas cap, that would be the first thing to check. Either replace the gas cap if it's needed. Mine, I don't think it does need to be replaced. Um, or you tighten it, put some more gas in it, reset the computer, and it's fine. Anyway, if you like this type of content or if you have any other suggestions of what that could have been, uh, let me know. Otherwise, uh, thanks for uh, watching it. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.